So as always, what I'm going to do first is just check and make sure that things are working. You know, while we get to enjoy the spooky ambient music. All right, I'm just gonna check and make sure that this posted properly to Twitter. I'll post it to, oh God, it's called Meta now, isn't it? Yikes. <laughs> okay, so it's on Twitter. Oh, I'm eating my hair. Wonderful, great. All right, so it seems to be on. Let me check and make sure that the mic is working right now. All right, so it seems to be on. Let me check. Oh yeah, it sure is. It's a little powerful, so let's move it away from my face. And I'll share it to Meta or the Book of Faces. And then I have one more thing to do before I start. This is an uber late stream. And if you're watching this in the future, just jump about a minute and we'll be good to go. All right, cool, I just needed to type that out, posting it, and then, okay. So I'm just gonna trust that that worked. And then what I'm gonna do now is I got a very good piece of advice to turn on the subtitles. I'm going to make the font size basically as big as, eh, like medium, medium to large, so they're readable. And so I had a friend tune in and she's like, do you take uh, constructive criticism? I'm like, sure, if it's constructive. <laughs> and she said, hey, like, why don't you just turn on the subtitles? Because I sometimes had trouble understanding what they were saying. So I was like, that's a great piece of advice. So here we are now. It's going to be pretty blue, I think. So I'm going to turn my lights behind the TV to like more like a yellow. Yeah, it's a little warmer because I have my blue light here. I turn it up, actually. Oh, yeah. Now we got a nice little mix of lights. Hi Jay, how are ya? We're about to get spooky. How are you enjoying, I know you're enjoying El uh, Elden Ring, but how are you enjoying Elden Ring? I didn't get a chance to see your latest updates. Yeah, so this stream is for those of us tarnished who did not get into the Elden Ring network test. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, I didn't, oh, you know what? I probably forgot that the health recharges quickly at, uh, underneath the light. Oh, it's good. Oh, enjoy. Hope you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. So I think we're about to get into a misery Rose. situation. Rose is a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose? She's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. Great! And, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. So I saw that last week. I'm actually going to turn the uh, subtitles down a bit. <laughs> In terms of the sizes, that's actually larger than expected. Definitely want to enable it. Let's make it medium to small because that really takes over the screen, which is awesome because, you know, I am a spectacle wearing human and I have trouble seeing. Hey, the Freeman, it is spooky time. We're going to we're going to get spooky well, today. Wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the god fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort. Oh, yeah. Cauldron Lake is like full of all okay. sorts of creepy anyway, lore. There was an island owned by a guy called Thomas, Thomas Sane. Now, some of the He's the writer that no one knows about. He's a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. And that's where the original cabin from the beginning of the story existed. And yet, when we went to it, the cabin was gone. Like when we went back. Yes, yeah, for sure. Like the, the piece of feedback I got from my friend to add subtitles, such a good, great piece of feedback. And I was very appreciative of that. Again, as a spectacle wearing person. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, 
drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. Oh yeah, definitely better. Oh. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff. Like that. <gasps> I wonder if he's actually Thomas Zane. I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bad lady you met. What? The, lamp the one in black? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Anymore. Yeah, anyway, being homeless doesn't mean you're both crazy. Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Weird. Yeah, weird parallels to the beginning of Alan Wake's story. There's so many theories that I have that, like, maybe Alan is Thomas Zane. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. And I discussed some late last week. Some of my theories. Because I love, in mystery stories like this, I like sharing my theories ahead of time. So that, like, in posterity, I can go back and be like, what was right? What was wrong? It's very proud of myself. Because when I watched Midnight Mass, like, I'd say, like, 85% of my theories were correct. Oh, look at that murder of crows. She lives in the dumpster, in fact. That's why we went there. She's Oscar the Grouch. My dad and I like Oscar. We're like, he's very, like, underappreciated. <laughs> that and the Count. <laughs> the vampire character of Sesame Street. We're, like, discussing our favorite characters. We're like, yeah, well, no one likes this, this one. It's the one I like. <laughs> you mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. And at least he knows Alan's here. I, like, uh, I read up a little bit on this chapter to see, like, what I was in for, and unfortunately I got a minor spoiler, so we're, we're, let me tell you, we're about to be in for it, and I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna see if there's anything around the house first. So definitely, like, we're, we're fenced in pretty well. Oh boy, I forgot the controls already, because play only once a week so it's gonna take me a while and then once I get the controls down this is like with God of War once I get the controls down there is a back door I will be on a new game and I like it this game's pretty short I believe that without DLC uh, there are six chapters I'm on chapter three so after this will be about uh, uh, halfway through look at them sunflowers it's like the lumen flower garden more or less creepy we don't know All right, it's time. Let's knock. Welcome to, to, oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm, I'm so glad you're here. She's out of it. She's being controlled by the lady in black. Oh, oh yes. Yes, please come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. oh, no, they're getting drugged! Barry! What? What? It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. My barber's skin. Come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Oh! Back to work, boy. Oh, the pictures of him! I felt nauseous, hungover. Only anger kept me going. <gasps> Is that all him? I don't reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. 
The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. No, she's she not. Promises me I can aggressive editors are annoying. <laughs> she knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances. Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. This is funny. Like, one of my theories is that maybe Alice is just a figment of his imagination. Like, someone that he made up in his head. Um, but it's funny. That could be not true, though. Or this could be an entire construct because at the beginning Alice suggested that he go see a doctor to help him with his writer's block and he was vehemently against it um like powerfully powerfully against it and I'm thinking that maybe he saw the doctor and this is like the doctor's way of like hypnotizing or manipulating him into like writing more and uh but it's like fucking with his head hi Miles oh I'm so glad that's awesome to hear is there anything here? Like, do, lady, do you have bullets and batteries in your thing? So yeah, she has Alan, her Alan Wake collection. Oh, a book called Farewell to Sanity. One called Creativity. This is interesting. Web metrics. God, good father, bad father. <laughs> she has dad issues. Peak, the human island. An island made of human bones. <laughs> Are these all Alan? Yeah, that's so creepy! <laughs> Look at it! Her, like, Alan shrine! It'd be so funny if she had, like, red string all along the thing. I'm just gonna fuck around in her house. Medicated to hate? Oh, man. And web, so she's, like, you know, on top of being a waitress, she's also a web editor. Gotta love shrines! <laughs> Oh, she sleeps the Ellen Wake right there. I mean, I can't talk because I had, like, in college, I had, like, a Dracula shrine. <laughs> like, Gary Oldman is Dracula, and he was, like, posted above my bed. My roommate may have thought I was a little Most weird. Of the day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Yeah, he's supposed to be writing a manuscript in two days, and I was like, how? Oh, she has lost it. The the woman, the Barbara, is like fucking with her head. Hi, Tim. Oh, thank you, Tim, for your nice comment today. I didn't get to reply. I will eventually. A little Welcome slow with her. to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? Yeah, she was manipulated. I up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left mm -hmm. its mark. It was Barbara. Rose, we fill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Rose. Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Her home looks like a diner. You see how there's like a booth? I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's a trailer, but maybe it's like, again, if this is a, a construct of Alan's mind. Way too heavy to carry. <laughs> You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. Same. I'm so handsome. I deserve more money. Oh, you're watching Murder, Murder on the Orient Express. Is that the newer one? I haven't seen that yet. I can't take him with me. I can't run either. This is slow goings. I mean, he could wash his clothes while he's here. Any bullets? Any batteries? No? Yeah, we're about to hit nightfall, so... My about to hit some murdery people. I'd have to oh. find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Oh, manuscript time. Ransom. I need to re uh, rename these stream names to the correct episodes. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers... The writer and his smart-ass sidekick looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. He knew when her bedtime is? That's so creepy. Like, I wouldn't want my fucking landlord to know when I sleep. He'd be like, oh, it's 4 a.m., slightly past her normal bedtime. I'd be like, that's none of your fucking business, landlord. <laughs> Imagine! What the 
to know when I sleep. So sheriff's coming. They're on their way. Oh, and they're gonna find like Barry just oh drugged and Rose like being totally not okay. I'm any treasures in the dumpster? You can dive into there. They'll probably look and then they'll oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh, this is not gonna be pretty. Alright, so I think if I remember correctly, tapping L1 is avoiding, and then holding L1 is running. You can definitely tell, I wonder if something happened, because it looks like there were children here. Like the, the red wagon, and the toys, and the little sandbox here. The room almost, almost looked like a kid's room in Rose's place. Interesting. Just exploring, seeing if there's anything else here in the trailer park. But fucking ew, the landlord? Like, if there's, like, Rosie's... I mean, there's definitely suspicious shit afoot, but at the same time, like, it's none of his fucking business if she has a man at her, at her place for a little longer than expected. That's so gross and creepy to me. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know... It's like Trashy Frasier. Danny, I think, died in the last chapter. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe... No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? So this isn't just the weather. It's like a heaviness to the air they're saying, and it's giving people nightmares. Yeah, the Freeman, I still haven't played Control, but I believe I got it when it was free. I think that I have it, and I believe it was free on the uh, PlayStation Plus, for PlayStation Plus members. So I don't have my gun, I don't have my flashlight, which means I am shit out of luck. I'm just exploring, seeing what I can find. That's an interesting bit of lore. There's definitely something supernatural going on here, for sure. Ooh, coffee! I don't even know what that does. I don't know what uh, collecting coffee does, but I'm doing it. It's getting chilly over here, and I'm offended. I have to flip on my hoodie. We'll see. All right. Oh, there's the landlord. Fucking landlord. How how would you know when it's her bedtime? That's so fucking creepy. I don't like it. It does not sit well with me. And in general, I don't like people, like, telling me when to go to sleep either. Like, I'm an adult. <laughs> None of your fucking business, sir. Especially you, landlord. None of your business. I'm gonna sneak into these homes. Alan Wake has no endurance. Man needs to work out. <gasps> There's a baby. In like horror stories, there's nothing creepier than like the sound of a baby crying, I swear. Or children singing. 
I personally love creepy lullabies, though. I think they're very comforting in a weird way. I don't understand. I just think they sound really pretty. Oh. There are definitely sounds going on here. I'm making a lot of noise. Is the front door the only way? I believe it is. I don't know if there's a point to me doing all this exploration, but I'm doing it anyway. Yes, about control, I hear it's really good. And I know that this was one of their earlier games. I just, I like mystery solving. I think it's a lot of fun to try to think of like, you know, what's going on? Things are a little fucked up here. Yeah, the late 2000s, 2010s, no endurance phase. I'm just like, this man has never taken a run in his life. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it now. Oh, shh. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. <laughs> Now he has endurance. I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Yeah, that's crazy. That he would that he would uh shoot so quickly. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh yes, run from the cops and like make your appointment with the kidnapper. Definitely something you want to do. Oh shit, they're coming from there. Yeah, I'm just going to run. As if he fucking can. <laughs> I'm so frustrated with him. I, dude, I have a back problem and I can run better than you. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, it's so creepy! Oh shit! I don't even know where I need to go. Okay, so it's uh, up and to the right. So I am going into the right. Oh, fuckity fuck. Like, why don't you just take the cops oh, with you to the kidnapper's office? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I can probably hide behind those rocks. Now they're, uh... Now they're getting the lights on me. That's super creepy. Oh shit! No! They've discovered me. Running from the cops! He's, you could barely call that running cops. I don't know if there's a stamina bar, but you know, I will say that his running, like, you can, it's, like, realistic in a way that he does tire out after a bit. Like, at this point, I would be pretty tired as well. <laughs> like, my running endurance isn't the best, but at the same time, it's also not the worst. And, like, sometimes I'm just like, this man is kind of sad. He is not a runner, is he? So I see some light up there. Manuscript page, I think. It's like mist where you find the pages. Checkpoint reach. But first! <laughs> manuscript page! Alright. Ransom. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, cool. terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, this is definitely cosmic. Oh, because I guessed last time because they had a big ass tree called the Great Old One. And I'm like, oh, this is a cosmic. This is a cosmic story, isn't it? Oh, man. So, yeah, definitely. So it's an ancient presence. It's living inside of Barbara. So Thomas Zane presumably must have sealed this presence away in Cauldron Lake. And it must be uh, attracted to, like, supernatural writers. So, like, when Ellen Waite came to town, 
The presence must have stirred. Oh, that's so great. That's good shit. All right, it's up here. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna go into something creepy. Whenever there's evil wind like this, oh! Can I go? Can I get in? No, obviously not. Oh, I can listen. Hee hee hee, I'm listening. Nice! I feel like she might help Ellen and be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, she- and honestly, Ellen needs to trust somebody. So yeah, he's- they can definitely tell. Alright, I'm at the light. I think I'm at full health. Drop hazard. Oh shit, definitely more- oh! Flares. Like, they couldn't find a guy with zero endurance? Really? Oh yeah, there's something evil. There's an evil presence in this town! Yeah, we're, we're in a cosmic situation here. Oh shit. What is sleeping in Cauldron Lake? Oh shit. <gasps> Something's attacking them! Be the reason why the lampshade explodes when you walk this under it. This was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Trouble in paradise. Them two arguing. Alright, let's go, let's go. And Barry's still at Rose's place. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Oh shit! This is gonna be a little problematic. Ah, oh, shit! Ah, dick my butt! <laughs> I can hear crows! What? Yes! The murder of crows- did it just take out the fucking helicopter? Oh, what the fuck? The crows took out the helicopter. I think I understand why Barbara wants to change his writing. Barbara is the dark presence, right? And Barbara is the editor who keeps editing his work to be more of hers and less of his. He obviously has like a manifestation type of power um, to bring things into reality. Um... No, okay, fuck. So he obviously has the power to bring things into reality. And I believe that the evil presence wants to become like manifest in this world. And they're using Alan to make that possible. That's fucking cool. All right, uh, toggle zoom. Yeah, that's the helicopter for sure. Sorry, this is a little dizzying for anybody. Yeah, it took out the helicopter, I could tell. That murder of crows, like, defended me even though they attack you before. There's definitely... 
Some trouble afoot in Bright Falls for sure. There's a nice cot. There is some coffee. A stove. All right, let's listen to the radio. to scotch uh, scotch 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 So they think that uh, Alan's agent is drunk and not, you know, drugged. Like, he's been drugged. That sucks. That's a shitty situation to be in. To be drugged and not believed, that is actually awful. That's terrible. Oh, wait. So I looked at this one, but I didn't look at the other one. Let's take a quick look. See what's over here. He has to put a coin in? Like, he just has quarters on him while he's, like, on the run from the police? Like, <laughs> really? I can see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Are you going to go to the radio station? So Rose is the, um, who was, like, she seemed really sweet. She was, a, she was the girl who worked at the diner who was a big fan of Alan's. He goes to Rose's trailer and you could tell that she was being controlled by Barbara, the lady in black. And again, we know that the Barbara is... Now we know that Barbara is Alan's, like, weird editor who keeps changing his works more and more. And two, she's really creepy. Um, she... Um, she's, she's possessed in a bit, uh, for, like, in a way by the dark presence. Oh, wait. And I also... There's also this... It looks like a Hooters slash Dunkin' Donuts in the plaza. Radio station. Okay, so yeah, my goal is probably to get to the radio station, in fact. And Rose is the one who seemed out of it when we went to her trailer. Because, like, obviously, like, she's a big fan of Alan's. I feel like her herself is probably pretty harmless, but she was definitely under the influence of, uh, of Barbara. The evil, the great old one. The thing of evil. <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of, uh, because Alan make me th makes me think a lot of uh, Stephen King. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Of course, his name is Maine. So, like, you know, speak of the devil, speak of uh, Stephen King. Who lives in Maine and says a lot of stories in Maine because Maine is super spooky. Like, I was talking to a friend who's Christina from the last, uh, oh shit. We're talking about how things were like New England spooky, and I'm like, I know about that. The, gate. the darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Okay, so I need a light. There must be one here. But I grew up in New England, so I know New England spooky very, very well. <clears throat> I grew up in like a, a little woodland town in Massachusetts, so there's definitely a lot of New England uh, spooky there. And then, you know, I moved to Boston area pretty much as soon as I hit 18, but I've been to Maine a lot. My uncle lived there and I uh, visit there whenever I can. And driving there at night is like legitimately the the creepiest thing ever. Like it's just as spooky as like a Stephen King book. Um, it's pitch dark. There's no light at all. You're going through the woods in Maine at night and you'll see like deer just like in your headlights, but like they're really creepy looking like in the dead of night. And then sometimes like the fog will just like in the area that I like to go in the fog will just overtake everything. It's so creepy. You can't even see like a foot in front of you. And then driving in that with deer is like the scariest thing ever. <laughs> so like, yeah, New England creepy is super, super a thing. I lived in it for a very long time. And like, I mean, I hated the cold, so I moved, but like, it's a great atmosphere. Oh, haha. -ha. Ring, da -da ding, 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 ring, da -da ding, 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 ding. Old motor time. 
Yeah, I'm like definitely an East Coast bitch, and I love the spooky, so I guess it's the right choice. Mm. I swear, cheap champagne and chambord. It's like you're drinking a raspberry cake. Greatest. Oh my god, did it break down? What a pain in the fucking ass. Kick it! Ah! <laughs> it works better when I kick it. Just like, fuck this. That was the funniest thing. Okay, I, I think I just need to go fast. I've been talking. I've been yapping your ear off. Uh, where do I need to go? I need to go down to the... Motherfucking... Gate. Kick. Oh, yeah. I need to actually fix it. Destroy the gate! How do I do that? There are spookies! that are being rude and preventing me from... Uh, from going through the gate, so I need to destroy it, but how do I do that? Let's figure something out. Oh, maybe right there. There's a big-ass fucking light. And then coffee. Oh! I earned a trophy called Damn Good Cup of Coffee. Can I peek at what it is? So the audio has been broadcasted. You have found 25 coffee thermoses. Only 41% of players have gotten this trophy. But I just look at it and I like I pick it up every time. So this must have something to do with it. Can I push it? Like what is what is, what are my options here? I probably can't because he has the endurance of like the couchiest potato. <laughs> the couchiest of potatoes. Kick it. That was not a kick. All right, what do I do? Let's let's try to figure this out. All right, old motor time. Old motor time. Old motor time. Let's go. All right, generator on. I'm gonna go over here. What is over here? Distractions. Oh no, that is just a shiny thing. Motherfuck. Oh, use. Uh, I need to do it in time. This is definitely timed. Okay, so at least I moved it. I got distracted by a shiny thing. Of course, it's very, a very me thing to happen. It's like this thing is very shiny. I wonder if it's something. All right, bring the ding ding ding. ding. All right, get that fucking motor running. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I moved it properly. The light just destroys it because the dark being. It was like a manifestation of darkness. Oh, that's fucking cool. But I mean, extremely unhelpful for me, but like cool in general. All right, let's go. Let's go writer Alan Wake. It's just a game about Stephen King. I wonder if he knows about it. Oh, again? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all, sir. The thing <laughs> sounds like it has teeth. Oh no, 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 no. Should I waste my battery on this? Well, I just did, so I need to find more batteries. Yes, the darkness is controlling. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were nice! a real weapon for my situation. Pick them all up. Press R1 to throw a flashbang. A poor sheriff. Oh, I'm sorry. Team 2 is down. <gasps> that sheriff is having a night. Oh, thanks, Tim. That's really sweet. I feel like that that video was a little rough, but I was trying to kind of do it as fast as I could. I'm like, I could have done it better, but I'm like, I need to get this just done. <laughs> because, like, I'm like, oh, God, the network test is coming up in a few days. I'm going to have to get it done before the network test. And then the day that I was going to release it was the day the embargo lifted. 
Motherfucker! You're oh! ninja. The cops are possessed. The deer are gonna be fucked up too. Are we're gonna have deer fest, and the deer are gonna be fucked up. The deputies. Ooh. So if Tim, if you watch my, uh, if you go to my Bloodborne After Dark playlist and watch my Bloodborne videos, they're all in a similar, like, that's what I call my lore voice. When I'm talking about lore, and I'm reading spooky things, I like to, like, I just do my, like, very quiet, like, reading to people type of voice. Oh, Elden Ring, you can absolutely play single player. It's like any of the Souls games be that came before it. Um, the Souls games, you, you have the, uh, like, honestly, the default single player, if you're struggling with the boss, I highly recommend, like, honestly, your first playthrough, you can absolutely, like, contact a friend, a stranger to help. The only thing is that sometimes you'll get invasions, so the invasions, uh, some people might invade you to do PvP, and in that case, they might try to kill you. But um, I highly recommend, like, using co-op if you are stuck, because it's just incredibly helpful in Souls games. Like, it's a great, it's a great feature of them. And Elden Ring is definitely going to be difficult. It's going to have its easy moments, I hear, um, from, uh, from Jay, that mounted combat is easy, or easier than other modes of combat, but it's less fun. Because we like our difficulty here. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's no Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Aww. That's so scary. Still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. Aw. hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Because it's such a sleepy town. You wouldn't hear that in, like... Unfortunately, with the town I live in, the crime's fairly high. So, like, if you're in certain areas... Like, a friend of mine lived in kind of a... Like, it's like an adjacent town, but it's like right next to it, to where I live. And their neighborhood, they're like, oh yeah, we hear gunshots like every night. And then where I where I moved for a while, uh, like in my early 20s, like near Boston, it was like a regular occurrence. You're just like, oh yeah, they're shooting off guns. Like, there's some sort of shootout right now. And it sucks. <coughs> Sorry about coughing. I've, I've had a dry throat lately. I've been feeling okay, though. So if I feel any worse... You know, that would be bad, but <laughs> I'm feeling okay, despite the dry throat. Oh, McFucking Nuggets. Oh, McFucking Nuggets. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Trying to get this manuscript on the edge of the cliff, people. <laughs> A very safe thing to do. Rose touched by the dark presence. <laughs> oh, I love it. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. Aww. She was the Alan Wake's muse. <gasps> Baby. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Oh my god. Inside, she was screaming in terror. She didn't really- oh my god, see, like, I knew that she was kind of a sweetie, that she just loves Alan Wake in, like, maybe a slightly unhealthy way, but, like, she doesn't mean any harm. She's being controlled by the great old one. All right, where am I going? I just- did I just come from there? I think I did, and yeah, these are where the spooky, scary deputies came from. <sighs> You definitely got some spooky scaries over here. Ah! Ah -ha -ha! It was very close. I don't like it. You. <gasps> you 
used to live on a farm, hearing lots of gunshots is random, but was hopefully hunters in the woods. Yeah, and I can imagine that in a farm situation for sure. I follow a big cat sanctuary, and the guy, one of the guys who worked there, he, uh, he has to slaughter cows to feed the cats. Oh, nice, I found a treasure trove. And it's just a thing that happens. And it's in Texas, so <laughs> a lot of gun culture there. Yeah, like, definitely, like, a, I would not be surprised on a farm, like, if they're, like, uh, hunting going on, like, slaughtering of animals going on. Hey, Inspector! Going pretty well. We're playing Alan Wake. I found this cool treasure trove. Running from the cops. Or running from the feds. Trust no one in the dark! That's so cool! Wait a second. <laughs> I shouldn't be like, wow, that's great! <laughs> Trust no one in the dark. Walk in light. It's like, you know who wrote this is like a spiritual white lady? Live, laugh, love. Positive vibes only. Walk in light. <laughs> Trust. But then, like, I wrote this one. Trust no one in the dark. <laughs> this is why, like, as a professional career, one of the things that I was very good at was uh, cybersecurity. <laughs> Uh, like cybersecurity writing and the reason why is because I love scaring people so like your job is to like write things that scare people into like having a proper cybersecurity framework because they should ah you motherfuckers and I was like oh I kind of enjoyed that a lot writing about cybersecurity because you get to spook people Like, these are the consequences to not having a good cybersecurity <laughs> cybersecurity atmosphere in your organization. <laughs> ah! That's right, bitch. Oh, there's another one. Hi. Oh, I didn't mean to use the fucking flares. Oh, that's not cute. That's uh, opposite of cute. I just wasted a fucking bullet. So I need to go up and around here, I think. Oh god, I keep getting- oh! oh, this is where he loses his energy! Ah! They were behind me! Okay, trust no one in the dark, walk in the light. Alright, there's another yellow arrow. You wouldn't download a car? The hell I wouldn't. Alright, I'm just gonna follow the yellow. I haven't even wrote a suspense mystery book yet. This is your calling! I know, you know, I'm trying to get back into... Oh yeah, I've been here. I'm trying to get back into writing fiction. It's been a long time. Like, I, I write professionally, but it's, like, articles and, like, marketing stuff and website content. Like, that sort of thing. So it's, like, writing books is a totally different skill set, I will say. But I'm trying to get back into it. I'm, like, pra I'm, well, let's just say I'm practicing at the moment. I'm trying to stretch the muscles. But I would love, like, not quite, like, horror, but more, like, mystery is something I would love to write. Aw, thanks to Freeman. You guys are the best. I mean, I don't know. I would need a lot of free time, and I would need original... Well, actually, oh my god, I did have a supernatural story cooking up in my head. I did, and it was original. Well, I don't know how original, because, like, a friend of mine was like, oh, this is similar to a great book that I read, and I was like, oh no! <laughs> it's already similar to something. I found the radio station! Ah, we got motherfuckers. Wait, that was just funny. That was just funny. I'm out of ammo. That was not cute. I've been trying to write a book for the last 10 years. 
Can't do it myself. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I won't, I will not try to tell you what to do, but it really is all about practice. Like, and it's like kind of, you have to like it too. Like you have to enjoy writing and be motivated as well. But like when I was a teenager, I, I really, I was very influenced. I read, uh, read Lolita at like 12 and it like, but the thing is that it inspired me in a way that the, the writing was so flowery that I was like, this is actually amazing. And I got really into a lot of the classics back then. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. And, um... And yeah, so I, I got really inspired by flowery language, and I, read, I wrote things a little too flowery when I was a teenager, very dramatic. But I mean, I guess that's a time for you to be cringe, right? But now I've, like, I've learned kind of when to be flowerier and when not to be. So it's like, it's just kind of, again, it's like stretching a muscle. It's like practicing, you do what you can. It's like you could practice, but you know, maybe maybe you need like someone to collaborate with or something where you can do the world building and your friend can write. Let's see if you can listen in. That's Mr. Maine. I haven't read Inkheart, but I, I know I've heard of it. Yeah, I read, um, when I was growing up, I read a lot, like, definitely more of the type to sit in, in my room and just read, and I was super, like, when I was really, really little, like, just learning to read, I read Goosebumps a lot, and then, uh, from there, I mean, I think, I feel like it shows, I feel like every kid that, like, read Goosebumps, like, you can kind of tell they read Goosebumps, and then I moved on to Animorphs from there, and I read a, like, I mean, obviously, I don't really condone, like, the, the, the way that the writer talks about a lot of subjects, but I read a lot of Harry Potter after Animorphs read a, just read a lot and then like when I got to my like mid-20s I had to stop because I just didn't have a lot of time anymore but I did read the, the Hunger Games series which is awesome I've read oh, oh god I've read a couple of the just like really great books here and there along the way and I'm kind of getting back into it but it's hard to find the time I'm reading a lot of fan works to be honest and like they're so good like some of these writers I'm like they deserve like their own contracts and stuff like they're they are just great the night owl the voice of pat main all night every night and <laughs> i love that that's good yeah like with me what really matters is like one like i i want to like what the book is about but number two like what i like to do is i'll go to a bookstore and i'll open up a book like in the middle like in some random part if i can get into like a couple paragraphs and a random part of a book that I just opened, I know that I'll probably like the whole book. So that's my girl. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Oh boy, now the police know my location. Great. Thank you, Mr. Mayen. Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Whoa, 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 everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. That's ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. <laughs> That's funny. Really good. I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Speaking of another, well, another book that I got into like pretty much after getting into Bloodborne and a lot of Lovecraft. So I got the Cthulhu Mythos Tales. I've read like a little more, a little more than half, I think, of the whole book. But I like that it's separated into uh, like smaller chapters because I can just enjoy it. And of course, another one that I have from my fancy collection, really, really nice edition of Dracula, which it's bound with like black around the pages. So cool. Yeah, I'm very proud of my little reading nook that I created. I've read, a lot, of course, a lot of graphic novels. I just got into um, Junji Ito. So I've been familiar with this work for years and years and years, like, like almost 20 years, but I finally read Uzumaki a couple months ago. Very, very good. And I got Tomi for my birthday, but I only just started it. Read a few chapters. 
So I've read, oh, Nightingale at the radio station. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. As they should have, because... What the hell is Nightingale doing? So Freeman? Guilty as charged. I very much have read a lot, and they are so good, and I have some authors that I really, really, really like a lot. And I think, again, they're wonderful, and I'm like, why don't, why don't these writers have their own, like, contracts? They are great. And what they write is so good, and, like, some of them are, like, alternate universes, and I'm like, holy shit. So, so good. Oh, thank God. Pick up them flares. Yeah, the way they get the emotions, the way they, like, write is, like, you know, very well captured. And, like, as somebody who writes myself, like, I, I fucking get it. And I have to, like, a way that, like, if it grips me, I'm probably going to like it. Yeah, Adolf is, like, life. Adolf is love. If nobody got me, I know Adolf got me. <laughs> ah! Okay, one second. Ah! Whoa. Hold on! Please explode! Oh my god, I have no ammo! How am I gonna do this? You just need to explode, please! No, god! I have no ammo! What am I supposed to do? And I know you, like, typically don't run away. The flare! The flare! The flare! Oh my god, that doesn't kill them. What do I do? I must have missed something. Oh my god! Which time? Which time? Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna die. And I... Not that I deserve it, but I'm underprepared for sure. Yeah, if anyone who doesn't know, Adolf is um, <laughs> the ship name for Edelgard and Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses. They are my favorites, I and I love them. It was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. So I need good. ammo. I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Really, the Freeman? Have you played this? I mean, you're probably you're probably right, and I trust you. But I just I want to ask. But like at the same time, with this game, like running away really is not an option typically. But I'll I'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm thinking about Edelgard and Byleth, and like that makes me all warm and fuzzy because I love them. And what I love about them is that Edelgard is like the the Emperor of Adrestia. And, you know, a lot of people see her for what she is and not who she is. So she's very guarded, she's very stoic, and she doesn't show a lot of people who she is. But then Byleth is not raised with religion or politics. She does not give a fuck. And she just loves Edel Edelgard for who she is. And now I'm gonna cry, because I think that's fucking beautiful. And I feel very strong feelings for them. I love Adelev. They're like my favorite. They're my favorite of all Fire Emblem ships. Like I have some that I'm just like, oh yes, they are great. I love them. I will seek out art. But like to make the time commitment about like reading stuff, like not necessarily, but Adelev, I will take the time. I will take it. I will take it nine times. <laughs> They're lovely and they are wonderful. Yeah, there are a couple of ships that I like in Fire Emblem. Usually it's some version of, like, Adolf. It's like, I like Adolf. I like Adelbert. I like Adelbertleth. <laughs> and I love the names because you just... I was writing about this on Twitter. Like, you just stack up the names of the characters like they're Legos. It's wonderful. Like, Hubert? Adelgard? Byleth? Adelbertleth. <laughs> so great. Amazing. Inspired. Like, fine wine. <laughs> Ah, oh, great. Oh, no. I know that the men are coming. I don't like it. 
Ah, there are supplies in there! There are supplies! There are supplies! Ah! Revolver! Oh, bitch! Oh, bitch! Yes, motherfucker! This one, I think, is coming a little faster. It's our battery! Whoa, motherfucker! Come on. Oh my god, what is this thing? That's like two fucking rounds? Jesus H. Oh, I need to make him corporeal. There we go. Yes, bitch. You mean I could've just lit this thing? I only have three more rounds? That's not cute. That's the opposite of cute. Reach the train depot. I don't have a lot of batteries. Yes. Oh, how many more rounds do I have? I have like one round. Oh, that's the opposite of cute. I'm gonna go back to flares. Oh no. I need to find like a treasure trove and quickly. I found that as the chapters go on, they give you less and less supplies, which is genuinely very scary. Because when you have no supplies, there's like nothing you can do. Hmm. Ah, take two shots to kill the Taken. Thank you, the Freeman. That's really, really helpful to know. I'm like hoping that my aim is good, but if it's two shots, that makes sense. The Taken. What a cool name. Like, and you're like, what does that mean? At least the normal ones. Yeah, that's true. Like, Chainsaw Guy, I think, took a little more, but that's because he's Chainsaw Guy. No. Oh, is, are we back? We are fucking... Fuck my ass. God damn it. <laughs> We're back! At the radio station! Exactly the opposite way that I need to be going! <laughs> Ah, you need to go to the train depot. There are no supplies left. <laughs> oh, I have like one bullet. Not cute at all. Come on, I was just here. Come on, wake! True, true. Yeah, the thing about survival horror that I don't really like, I don't gravitate toward is I feel very powerless, and in general I just don't... Fuck. I don't like things that make me feel powerless, you know? Just in general. I like things like Bloodborne that make you feel... Like, powerful really is the right word for the way that Bloodborne makes you motherfucking feel. I might die. Again. There was no sensible reason for going away. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Okay, yeah, I'm out of I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. Hmm. I think they might have been triggered by the fact that Fuck. Oh, I have 12 rounds now! Bitch! Bitch! Motherfucker! Bitch! I got my 12 rounds! I got them! I got them! So now maybe I can get through. I got my 12 rounds! Ah. Yeah, survival horror, like, again, I don't like that it makes me feel uh, powerless. So it's like the opposite of the way. Like, because in so many times in life, especially. You know, when you're wearing a woman's meat sack? Uh... Feeling powerless is not fun. But like...
And, like, we feel that all the time, right? Like, we feel that a lot. And that fucking sucks ass, and not in a fun way. But I like games like Bloodborne that, like, give you the equipment and the, like, supplies to, like, make you feel extremely powerful. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. All right, there are supplies in there. Possibly something on top, because the... Ah! Yeah, for sure. Oh, my lord. Do, 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 do. That's right, bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I got plenty of rounds. It's fine. I would like to turn this on. Oh, wait. I can't do this by myself. Alright. Ah, come on. This guy's incorporeal, I need to... They're behind me, aren't they? Where are they? Yeah, you know, well, oh, go, 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 go. So I would, the Resident Evil that I would most certainly play is a uh, village for obvious reasons, I think. For very, uh, because, I mean, the problem is though, I'd be like in Castle Dimitras the entire time and I know that like, her portion of the story is about a like a fourth maybe of the story, but I'd be like, hello, Lady Dimitrescu. The Lady Dimitrescu senpai, notice me. I love you, Lady Dimitrescu. Please sit on my face. <laughs> so that would be a problem, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, I hear Village is very good. And it's short, too. And, like, honestly, I really like short games. Short games are good. Short games are good, in fact. Like, this one's pretty short. And they're like, yeah, it's about, like, maybe 12 to, like, 15 hours, depending. And I'm like, that's perfect. <gasps> what? The darkness controls the Taken. That's why they go bad in the middle of the night. Oh, that would have been an alternate route. Oh, there are shiny things down there. There are shiny things. Let's get them. Huh. Lithium batteries. Oh, yeah. Revolver ammo. Oh, there's definitely evil afoot. That's right, bitch. The darkness controls the Taken. So, yeah, this is definitely a creature of darkness. I say. With my fucking Millennium Ring t-shirt. <laughs> I have no right to talk. <laughs> there are things over here and I, that I would like to collect. Oh, there's a manuscript page. Ah, let's see. Let's see what the manuscript has to say. Wake attack by a bulldozer. That's, oh, that's what I'm in for. That's what I'm in for, isn't it? The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed through the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Great! That's the boss of this area. <laughs> four will give you the tools to survive more than earlier games. Yeah, here four is good too. I don't think, didn't they just like remake that and put it on different systems? Hmm. 
All right. We're heading for the train depot. <clears throat> oh, we're evil as a foot. I can feel it. Why aren't there batteries and bullets? That's not cute. There we go. It's like survival horror isn't my favorite, I say, playing Alan fucking Wake. Manuscript page! Whoa, I wouldn't have found that. I just stumbled upon it. Oh, the bulldozer. The bull Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Is that the one? Yeah, I believe that's the one. I'm never going to finish this manuscript time. The man's like, I'm going to give you two days to finish this goddamn manuscript. And I'm like, here's a hundred words. <laughs> At my pace, if I were fighting monsters all night and dealing with mysteries all day, I'd be like, here's a hundred words, my friend. This is all you're going to get. It's a drabble. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. Yes. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly... Why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Federal? But I mean, he is an asshole. I feel like he's, like, not federal at all. Like, this is just a front. I'm, like, doing my, like, Pepe Sylvia wall. Pepe Sylvia! Oh, there's the bulldozer! Okay, no, it's a train. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, but now I know. It's like the chainsaw guy. It's like I know that the final boss in this area is the bulldozer. Get everything. 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 All the batteries. All the ammo. Alright, I got 24 rounds. Let's, let's see if that's hopefully enough. Is it the kidnapper? Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? 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 I'm here. That's so weird. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. What the fuck? The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. Yeah, it's not she right at all. Wrong somehow. But she had called me. Manuscript. Manuscript. Wake attacked by a possessed object. The light wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Goddamn. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. So, the pipe. Sorry. And dry throat is sensitive to light. That's that tells me. I feel like if you didn't read the manuscript pages, you would like have a lot of trouble with this game. Meanwhile, I'm like, lore! Yay! Yay, lore! Lore good! I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Hey, Last Sigil! We're spooky. <clears throat> ah, good, a treasure trove. I will need it because there is going to be a possessed ass fucking pipe and a bulldozer. <laughs> so those are going to be like my bosses in this area and it's not cute. It's the total opposite of cute. Oh yeah. Woo woo woo. Revolver ammo. I love how there's just like random ass ammo like in the woods here. Like, I support that. Here's the treasure trove. We're gonna get some batteries, some flares. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, yeah, you can hear the breathing. Like, almost like this is a dream. 
That's another one of my theories. I'm like, is this a oh, the motherfucker? Fuck, 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 ass. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him with a flare, but that was damn funny. Have to keep on your toes. Gotta keep you on your toes. Alright, I was headed this way. I saw the bridge. I'm I'm pretty sure I said hello to last sigil, but hello if I didn't. I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> little bit. So don't mind me. If I missed something or if I miss a comment, I do apologize. Huh, there's light up here. Is this where I came from? I'm confused, but I'm gonna follow it. Oh, poor Alan. No, this is where I came from. This is where I came from. Alright. So he's gonna find the train depot, and then he's gonna look for a car. That is where we're at in this story. Yeah, there are details. Just like standard gas tanks and stuff. Let Alan catch his breath. Very twisty roots of the trees. Ah, and you can hear the breath. That's really a, that's such a cool detail. I noticed one thing about like horror games and shows. Like, one of the best parts of them is that like the sound design. You'll never find like another like a, a better genre that has better sound design. Like I was watching Midnight Mass. See the breath. I was watching Midnight Mass last month, and like. Just like the sound of the shoes hitting like old creaky wood floorboards, like oh, mm, the flavor, so good. Oh, there's gonna be a fight here for show. Oh, it's a train. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh, this is where the pipe's gonna be. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Nope. Oh my god! I got hit. Ah! No. Oh, I can hit. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep, I sure did. I sure died. Hmm. Yeah, just like the sounds in general. Again, you you will not find a better genre. Yeah, just won't. Hold on. Like, was this before or after I found the treasure trove? I'm not sure. I suppose I shall risk it. <laughs> so now I know I have to shine my light on the thing. So that side kind of corrodes. Was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in the I just narrowly avoided something. Nice. I made it. Oh, Lord, did Lord. Ah! Oh, McJesus! <laughs> what the fuck? McJesus! <laughs> I don't like it! <laughs> nah, I fucking died again. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, uh, the free men. Call Obsidian, someone I, I uh, mutuals with on Twitter, is um, he sent me a like a great playlist of like safe zones in horror games, and like 
just because like there's nothing more comforting than than that right because you know that yet the moment you're safe and like honestly like i haven't even played all of the games that that they come from but i was just like oh this is a great playlist and i love like seeing people's playlists it's great this is where i narrowly avoid Come on. Ah, battery, 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 battery. Yeah, and Silent Hill as well. It's funny because I never like got into playing the Silent Hill games because they were definitely, I think they were a little too much for, they were definitely a little too much for me growing up. Um, but I gotta say that the music from those games, amazing. Some of the best I've like ever heard in gaming. Like not even, not even exaggerating. I would buy the, um, the soundtracks despite not even playing them. Right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Jesus fucking Christ. The dark presence is inside the lodge. Oh my God. To savor the scream. Maybe it's the, um, the detective guy, like the FBI dude. Alan's gonna like, Alan, are you gonna commit some murder? There's a great makeup YouTuber named Bailey Syrian, and she does like a murder mystery and makeup Mondays. And like, there was one episode in which she was like, she, she like she's like trying to say like if you like true crime, blah blah blah, follow my channel. And she goes like if you like true crime, if you like murder, and then she's like, <laughs> the face that she gives is so good. As and the way that she tells these stories are so good. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Well, yeah, for sure. If you're in one, that's the opposite of fun, for sure. Oh, batteries, 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 batteries. And a revolver. Lucky day. Oh, heavy duty flashlight. Want it, need it, gotta have it. Why do you only have one, Alan? <laughs> because, like, oh, heavy duty flashlight, look at it. It probably takes more batteries, though. Oh, there's plenty of places for evil things to hide out here. Is it this the bulldozer area? Oh my god, this is totally gonna be the bulldozer area. I can feel it in my bones. Give me. Bring me the motherfucking things. Okay, I'll have all the revolver ammo. At least I know there's extra, I suppose. Uh, murderers are coming. Motherfuckers. Fuck ass. Oh, this is it. My last flare. Not you. Okay, this guy's already corporeal. And he's been shot once. Neat. Ah! You know it's not neat being shot and fucking stabbed in the back. Hey, extra revolver ammo. It's my lucky day. <laughs> Oh, good flare for sure. I need a flare. I used two of them, which I shouldn't have. Alright, go through the gate. Stuck in the thing with the thing. It's definitely present. Oh no, this seems like the worst place I can possibly be. Ah! Yeah! Ah! 
Ah, bitch. Come on. Come on. That was too many shots. For one dude. See, total opposite of cute and fun. <laughs> That's a purple box. Something written on there? Please do not recycle. Listen, recycle what I want. All right, oh boy. Going deeper into this train deeper in the darkness. In light, you can hurt them. Ooh, is there anything beyond this door? Can I go? No. All right, Alan. Find a vehicle is my next, my next goal. All right, checkpoint reached. Please do not recycle. Ooh, flares, look at it, look at it, look at it. Flares, good. Can I turn on the TV? Happy Edelgard thoughts. Totally. All too often the stars are right. In night, night springs. springs. Tonight's episode a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlin, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durlin. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, uh... I... This is not what was expected. Is he... Is it poison? Yeah, that's totally poison. That's what you get. <gasps> Wait! Nice springs. Ah. <laughs> Let me just for a moment. <laughs> Might possess you. That was really creepy. That was the creepiest one. The one where the guy shot himself in the head, like you can kind of tell you're like, oh man, don't, don't fucking no, no, don't. And then he fucking does it, and then you're like, oh Christ. This one is like He's like, let me show you with a kiss. And it's like, part of you is like, <laughs> like that one meme of like the kombucha girl going. <laughs> but then you like the other part of you is like, I'm an Alan Wake. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. It's poison. And it's way worse than poison. Way worse. <laughs> like that 5,000 little alien things. You're like, no. <laughs> it's a horrible way to go. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at the clothes. <laughs> I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. Light the, the flare, okay. Roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Oh, weird. I wonder how that's if that's going to be the way that the chapter ends. So the dark presence is definitely a thing in this. Uh for certain cosmic horror. 100 like I'm like 100% sure. Like, 99.99% sure this is, like, a cosmic horror situation. Alright, find a vehicle. 
Oy. Wide open areas. Great. Oh! There's the bulldozer! Oh, McShit. Ah! But first! Bulldozer's going. No, fuck, 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 Ah! Oh, that bulldozer's hard. Like, do you like? I imagine you would light it, and maybe. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. Total opposite of a cute and fun situation. But first, I feel like I should just lure the bulldozer onto these dudes. Yeah, I should just lure them. Whoa! Whoa, no, no! Wait. Just fucking open! Ah -ha! Open! This ain't gonna fucking open. Oh, I'm gonna die. Back, back! I say is the trophy I just got. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Saved by the dumpster. You're not allowed to be here, sir. Uh, ew. I got a trophy called heavy metal. Okay, that was pretty metal. <sighs> that was a fucking ordeal. Is that a manuscript page? Is that batteries? Yes, ma'am. We're not having a good time. Remember to think happy Edelgard thoughts. Oh, yes. She is the best and I love her very much. Everyone knows like my like my I would never say my weakness is Edelgard. She's my strength. Okay. Ah, thanks, the Freeman. That was very epic. I was very happy about that. That turned out actually better than expected. All right, so wait. Okay, we're all real. Oh. Okay, if I reload, can I pick it up? No. So I guess there's extra if I need it. It looks like I'm pretty well stacked, so that is a good thing. Oi. Ooh, coffee. I do not know the point of picking up coffee. I wish I did. Oh, a vehicle! A vehicle! There is a vehicle there. But fast! Anything here? I'm authorized personnel. All right, let's go. Bright Falls, light and power. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Was that the chapter? That was a good one. 
All right. Oh, no, that was not the chapter. And he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. I do not have the manuscript. I have like a few pages. Coal mine museum. That's not a trap. That's like a big white van that says candy on it. Like, no. No, it's double no, and by the way, triple no. Don't go in the van. Do not. Poor Alan, he has not slept. That's not cute. Like, I would, like, want nothing more than to nap after an ordeal like this. Be like, I earned this nap. I mean, you don't have to earn sleep, but still, you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, Bright Falls. It's extremely pretty. Hold on, let me take... I do not think I'm going to make a video about this. However, if I do, making a cinematic pan, always beautiful thing. You can like insert commentary and it's very good. There's Alan. And we got these beautiful mountains here. Oh yeah. Bright Falls. Okay, I'm just gonna grab that video. Save. Okay. Grabbing some pictures and screenshots and things. Okay. Now we're on the dirt road. Rough road. Sure is. This is actually less rough than some of the roads in Maine. This FYI. Some of them are still dirt. It's like it's very... Very old fashioned up there. Still. I mean, it's a good thing. It's a great place to, like... I mean, they, they hate, like, mass holes like me that like to escape there, but, like, this mass hole likes to escape there, so... It's funny, like, when people from... who aren't from mass, like... Like, I feel like only mass people can call each other mass holes. Like, people who aren't from mass are like, are you from Massachusetts? Are you a mass hole? I'm like, yeah, I'm a fucking mass hole. Leave me alone. Whereas, like, other, like, Massachusetts people are like, yeah, I'm a mass hole. I'm like, you too? Yeah, great. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> we can just understand each other. Oh, great sounds. It's the sound of the birds. It's very nice. I'm going to take that little video, too. It's a short one, but... Maybe we'll use it. Maybe not. Uh, do I need my supplies? Do I need my revolver and things? Oh, I don't have that available, so I'm guessing I'm just going to get story from here on in. I'm just looking for things, seeing if there's any manuscript pages. Daytime. Definitely a lot about this town that's very, like, decrepit. I'm surprised at all the things I'm missing, because I'm, like, definitely not getting all the manuscript pages. I'm kind of, like, blindly exploring a lot of the time. Woo! Yeah! Again, I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm, like, exploring just in case there is. Poor Alan, I am putting him through a triathlon at the moment. At least he's not going to be, like, attacked, you know? I mean, there's no use in me... <laughs> no use in me moving that strap. It doesn't fucking matter. <gasps> Checkpoint reach. What is over here? Oh, hey! Neato, gang! 
I forgot how to reverse. Oh, McShits. The point was probably for me to, like, discover that I needed a car, but, like, he's just a nerd with a tweed jacket. I like how the sheriff called him that. That was funny. Oh, boy. That bridge is out. He is a nerd with a tweed jacket. I mean, I'm a nerd, but, like, I mean, I can't say that I can run all night. For sure, I cannot. I mean, this will save me a lot of time, I think, just driving. Hey! I just need a tweed jacket! So true! Whoops, busy wrecking the jeep. I have a cool-ass detective-looking coat. It's like a nice little, like, raincoat from, uh, from Ralph Lauren. I like it a lot. It's the closest thing I got. It's definitely not tweed, though. But I would look good in tweed, I believe. Tooting my own horn for sure, but, like, I believe it. You know, driving is probably best. Let's listen to the radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not ha! necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, like this guy. I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but. I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Aww. Speed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, I do not. on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. This guy never sleeps, Pat Main. Oh, I like him. I feel like he's gonna die, but like, oh, I like him a lot. Pat Main, you're my bro. He's like, <laughs> Alan's like, what happened when my last book only got four reviews, bro? And then Pat Main's like, making four accounts, bro. And he's like, bro. <laughs> bro. Ooh, can I steal this car now? Nice upgrade, yes. Oh, shit. Whoa, fuck. Wait, is this the way back? I am confused. Ugh. Yeah, it's perfectly normal to just drive in fucking reverse. Oh, this looks like a rickety bridge. That's fucking dusty. And crusty. And rusty. Low visibility ahead, of course. Yes, I can see that this is a fucking hill. <laughs> I mean, driving up mountains, though, granted, is pretty scary. It can be. Let's pull over here. Hey, I didn't destroy the car! Look at that. Oh, I got a nice porty potty! We gotta pee! This is the place! Alright. I feel like if I did an Alan Wake cosplay, like, no one would know. They'd be like, who's this turd in a tweed jacket? They'd be like, oh, that hurts my soul. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the lookout. Oh, there's going to be some lore in there. Are we back to the where we were before? Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Sure did. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and... Oh, it's the, the doctor. Soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a 
hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Matt. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Yeah. Or heck, childish, even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because Aww. she was the one. She was. Aw, oh, sweetie. I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. Oh, sweetheart. And I'm not saying I dwell on her. Or oh, he totally does. Gone. I like my life. I'm not living in the past. Watch it be Barbara. I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry. That's a little issue. There's some issues with that. <laughs> night, and let's just say it's shaking a few things loose. Ah, uh, poor baby. Oh, Pat. Oh, that's so sad. I get that. I understand. But at the same time, though, like, no, like, fuck out of my soapbox for a second. No other person can complete you. Like, you are already complete just the way you are. If you want to find somebody, like, that person should love the complete you. That's all. You shouldn't have to think that you're empty or not quite 100% without somebody else. Because you're totally good just being yourself. <laughs> it's even like a sap, but still, I'll say that. Like you are whole all on your damn, or your damn self. You are a whole ass person, and you should respect and love that about you. No other person can complete you, also, and they shouldn't be held responsible to that standard, also. Oh, that's a cute little car. Should I drive this one, or should I drive my? Four-wheel drive. Ooh, they like expect you to like keep wrecking cars. I'm gonna go with my four-wheeler. Four-wheel drive. All right, so this is the way that I was going. So I'm just gonna keep going in that same direction. Uh, all right, yeah, that's the way you drive in this game. Whoa, whoa. my dirt road, motherfuckers. There's some things over here. Arr, balls. I'm gonna drive off the fucking cliff. I'm just gonna run off fumes. I'm gonna go explore. Go into the coal mine. This is probably where I need to go. Maybe. I wonder if I keep driving if I'll find something. I don't know. If anyone happens to, if anyone's like, no, keep driving, like, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go over here. It's like, if you're like, oh my god, you're going to miss something cool if you don't do that. Like, that's something I'm totally open to hearing. Is this the coal mine or is this just something I can explore? Ding, ding, ding. Checkpoint reached, maybe? No? No, it's just an abandoned-ass building. I was talking about what makes gothic horror gothic horror with uh, Christina W. the other day, a week ago, maybe? And, like, she had such a great perspective on it. Um, okay, keep exploring. Awesome. Thank you so much, The Freeman. I really do appreciate that. And she's saying that, like, gothic horror is always like something's just a little bit off like the de the, the, the town is decaying an old building an old car that's like falling apart like she's like that's what makes it gothic horror and i'm like that's true and i'm like that's just bloodborne <laughs> and like that's this town too like it's slowly decaying from the inside if you watch midnight mass it's the same as well it's like a town that's slowly decaying from the inside and you can just see it immediately mott on the ferry Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he Ew, saw. Gross! Maude about goading Wake into a fight. Why? It happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Maude's fucking weird. This fucking guy's fucked up. 
Ew, he's looking at his wife? Like, gross. Stranger danger. Get away. Alright, keep exploring. The old abandoned buildings. Alright, let's see. Where's the car? I pulled it over around here. Yeah, I pulled it over there. Um, I explored this. I explored the tower. Anything else to explore? There's this down here. Um, and also all this bullshit over there. Like, do I... Alright, I need to kind of access that through the road, I think. What about this? Can I go in through here? Nope. Can I go in through there? Did I miss it? Maybe I missed it. Poor Alan. He needs some rest. Oh yeah, this is blocked, I believe. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main, main building. building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. That's like 8 a.m. All right, we'll keep going. Got a manuscript page and you got the creepy motherfucker Mott. Who is looking at his wife, which is so fucking creepy as shit. The people in the town are fucked. What's over there? Oh my god, I'm gonna drive my car off a fucking cliff. It's like trying to see if they're like manuscript pages. Oh, the coal mine. I'm here, Bright Falls coal mine. Wait. I'm trying to get a nice screenshot. There we go. Yes, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I'll just park in the visitor parking. Woo woo. Let's park in the middle one. I was like trying to do a good parking job, even though what is the point? What is the point? <laughs> I'm trying to park well, okay? It's important to me. Go pee at the porta potty. Alright. Let's see if there's anything over here. Just troughs. Seeing if there's like any manuscript pages or anything else. Oh, a thermos! I do not know the point of these thermoses. I would like to know the point eventually. Oh, the Bright Falls Coal Mine Museum. While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked in the mines. Why does they only talk about the white immigrants? Like, Jesus. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? They obviously didn't even allow Irish people in there. They're like, Irish need not apply. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> oh, okay. Theory time. Theory time. The mine. There was something deep, dark, mysterious, and unknown. An eldritch creature underneath the mines. I'm sure of it. And they must have fucking uncovered it. And they released it into the town of Bright Falls. That's another theory that I have. You know, release the deep things of the world. Fucking with things they shouldn't have been fucking with. Oh boy. There's a manuscript page there. This main entrance. Let's see what else is around. If there is anything else around. There is a gate. There is a back way. Manuscript page. Ransom. Sarah in the radio station. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. In 1970, a volcanic eruption uh, below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. And remember that the writer 
basically caused or encouraged the eruption, like something like that, to close the mind. So maybe the minds were indeed releasing dark presences and entities. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all the mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now, many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. I mean, they're not taking too good care of these buildings, let's be real. Let's be oh so real. Let's see how much more we got here. All right. We're definitely still morning time. I didn't want to go outside. The cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. Oh, it's nighttime again. It was all a waste of time. Yeah, he never showed. The bastard never showed up. Oh, that sucks. And now it's nighttime again. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. I mean, the I guy kind of deserves it. How do we get there? I'm gonna get lost. Ah! It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. How do I get down? How do I get out of here? There is something I'm missing. There is clearly something that I am missing. I don't know what it is. Can I jump? I doubt that this is what I need to be doing. Okay, can I... Alright, I need to get down from here. I do not have the whole manuscript. You just can, you know, take my hundred word rattle. <laughs> like, there you go, sir! Yes, this is the manuscript. For sure, yes, absolutely, 100%. Trust, source, trust me. <laughs> Great, awesome, going down into a deep mine shaft. Amazing, my ideal Sunday. Oh boy, just drop, drop him down, drop. <sighs> Oy. But first, before we get into the the horror scenario, let's I had a few good manuscript pages. Is Bloodborne like in the top ten games ever made? I mean just Jasonic? It might be. I think a lot of people would put it there. It's definitely in my personal top ten. I would say it's probably number two of my my favorite games ever. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Something suspicious there. I mean, I get having a muse, but like at the same time, you shouldn't fucking need one. Oh, look at all that ammo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah, all that ammo, and like I'm full. I'm stuffed. I got enough. St 
stuffed and sacked. Ah, motherfucker. Oh. Uh. Insert battery, reload weapon. Oi, oi, oi. No, no, I don't like it. And now there are possessed objects after me. That's just extremely rude. All right, get more. Get more ammo now that we're here. Hey, baby Yoda. Oof, Bloodborne lore reading is what brought. Yay! Yeah, I I love Bloodborne lore. It's one of my favorite just things. <laughs> I got kind of stuck in this area, didn't I? Oh, I sure did. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, my god. How do I get the funk out of here? Okay, that's where I dropped down from. Okay, so at least that seemed to be the right place. I have plenty of ammo. Never played the games, but I've watched numerous channels breaking down and exploring the lore. Definitely has me look. That's awesome, Jasonic! I mean, I know a lot of people who are like, eh, I don't really want to play or I can't play or just haven't gotten the chance, but they like lore channels, which I like. I really respect that. I think that's great. Because, like, there's, the stories are really fantastic in these games, and if, like, for any reason, like, you haven't played or don't want to, or, like, like aren't able to in some way, like, it's a great way to really get that story. And, like, again, as a person who likes to share lore, like, I, I love that. Oh my god. Oh, that was neat! That was pretty decent! Hey! I got a uh, trophy called Energize. What does it mean? Hold on, I'm gonna check it. It's gonna be a blue screen for a moment. You charge batteries a hundred times. It's a rare trophy. Only 33% of people got it. Ah. I'm just like, <laughs> more batteries. More bullets. Ah! That's me. Ah, mother. Oh, Goog. Ah. You can't hurt me. Inside of the thing. These objects can't hurt me. These shades are Gucci. I'm gonna have more ammo. Can I not? I shouldn't bother. But I'm like, I want to be at full ammo and full battery life all the time. This is a long chapter. Ha! <laughs> Ugh. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. Will this work? Does it matter? Oh yeah. Just climb it. It's gonna make it hard for me to climb. So I need to go to the Mirror Peak Lookout. Oh no! No fucking way am I getting in there. No. How about... No! There we go. That's all kind of nope written all over the place right there. I did, Baby Yoda! L3, L3. That's the dark present! <gasps> oh, it's big! I haven't played Days Gone, so I do not have an opinion, because I don't know much about it. I may have watched a friend play on Twitch for a bit. Would have been either it would have been a while ago, I think. 
So yeah, I don't I don't know enough about it to really be able to share an opinion, unfortunately. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Great! Priorities. Uh cannon should get in the car, I think. But I'm just gonna uh, explore. Turn off the power, okay. Oh great! Murderer types! Woo woo woo, bitch! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I shouldn't have fucking wasted this out. That was a good shot! I have to say, that was actually really good! The flashlight really helps you to understand, like, where, like, where you're shooting. Like, wherever your flashlight is, like, is, like, basically your aim, which is really nice. Nice little system they got. This is the, um, that, like, Twilight Zone knockoff music that they have. Was it, like, dark... I forget what it's called. Shadow something or other. Shadow Hills. It's like the opposite of Bright Falls, like if you like consider it wordplay, which I enjoy. Oh yeah, there we go. Flay again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got some flayers. Turn off. You know, I haven't considered streaming Dino Crisis. I'm- oh, it's very dark. Oh. If we're, like, going full-ass Bostonian and be like, it's fucking dark in here. <laughs> Look at it, it's fucking dark. Look at how fucking dark it is. Motherfucker. There's gonna be more murders. Yeah, it's a game I haven't played yet. Oh! That's not cool! Oh no! There- oh my god, I'm gonna die! I am dead. I'm gonna run a little. Ah, no, I'm gonna die. No, that's totally dead. Dead, dead, dead. I was not prepared for all of the things that would attack me in the dark. <laughs> ah, it's fucking dark in here. Oh, no. Come on. <gasps> Yeah. Thank you. Let's leave an F in chat to pay respects. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to... Oh, wait, they're here! Trophy. Hold on one second, I'm gonna check what this trophy means. You have destroyed... Oh, whoops! You have destroyed 20 poltergeist objects is the, uh... Is the trophy I just got. That they're here! Oh, balls! Ah, oh, I walked right into that, didn't I? Ah! No! No! guy's pretty close. Oh, I'm pretty low on health. Jesus. 
Jesus! I took a lot of bullets. Yeah, I really needed to do better crowd control. That is a poltergeist object if I ever saw one. Come on. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Oh man. Is that from the movie Poltergeist? Yeah, I oh I think so. It's been a while since I saw it, but it was like one of my favorite like horror films as a kid. I watched a lot of them as a kid, but I actually don't really like slashers, so I won't really watch a slasher, but I'll watch like a supernatural one like horror, uh, like Poltergeist, for instance. Oh my god. Fuckity double fuck fuck triple fuck. So that's when I died again. And that's also when water started running all over my shirt because there was more than expected. Okay, this is how my day is going. This, this is how this is gonna go, I suppose. This is a poltergeist object. Come on. There we go. And there's one over here. One over here. Wait! Can I just, like, come in blasting? Hey! Look at that! Oh, I'm not doing well this time. This is hard. Ah! Come on. Flares. The Taken. That's the guy that's really hard to kill. Oh no, I'm not doing well. Come on. Nice, okay. Nice, okay. Nice! Alright, I got all the guys. I have no extra batteries. There are a lot of objects here that are like, ugh, that will, that can and will. Oh no. Now I'm just gonna run. Oh no! Oh no. Okay. Can I drive? Can I just protect myself in this car? Oh no, I don't like it. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, I can go up here. Hiding in the car was a weirdly good idea. Go into the light, Alan Wake. All right, checkpoint. How are my supplies? Not great, I don't have any light sources. But that was very difficult. And my battery is gone. What? Come on, come on, come on, fuck! Oh my god. Come on, come on. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I might die here. What's your opinion on House of Ash? Kind of strikes me as a telltale game. I Another one I have not played, so I cannot, unfortunately, I can't share an opinion on it. I don't know. <laughs> Caught me in a lie. Well, it's more like, okay, so you always have the flashlight, right? But a part of the point is... Uh, aiming your flashlight so you have a powerful aim and a powerful beam of light and that causes more juice that causes more like battery to go out on your flashlight and so i'd see that the flashlight kind of reloads slowly but that beam sucks up a lot of battery so my light source like meaning i have the flashlight it's working but i don't have that powerful beam that turns the the um the taken into being like corporeal and therefore killable. So that's what I mean when I say that. This looks like an object that gets possessed. <sighs> yeah! There's so many of them. Oh my god. Good thing I learned that, uh, you know, barrels are a thing. Oh, oh, oh. Trust no one in the dark. I hear them, I hear them, I hear them. Definitely hear the breathing still. I hear the footsteps. Oh, there are more of them, there are more of them. This is a long chapter. I'm like aching for this chapter to be over. Hey, that's something. There's a manuscript page. How do I get up here? Yes, pick up the thermos. Come on. Am I glitching the game? Come on, just keep glitching it enough so I can pick up that thermos. No! That was a mistake. That was a mistake. There must be another way. Oh yeah, there is definitely another way. There's that ladder. There's so much creaking going on here. Like, I mean, when you're in an old building, like, it's, it's stuff that just happens, like the creakiness, and it's very creepy. But still! It's extremely creepy. Follow! <laughs> but first, I replenish my coffee stores. Alright, and we'll read the manuscript. Super long chapter. Alright, wake touched by the dark poison. So Rose was touched, and now I'm gonna get touched. I don't wanna get touched. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Oh, that's creepy. <gasps> it's, oh, it's gonna touch him. I'm gonna get touched. I don't want to get touched. Father. I'm just gonna sit in this fucking chair. <laughs> and I'm just, this is where I'm gonna retire for the rest of my life. So I need to reach the Mirror Peak Lookout. That's my goal right now. Is there anything here? All right, there's a gate. I probably need to open it. It's probably in here. Doot, doot, doot. Ah! Nope. No. <laughs> My choice is no for that. Thank you. 
Batteries, yes, good. Batteries, good. <laughs> Revolver ammo, good. All right, use. I opened it up. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. No, that's for you, Alan Wake. Can I drive? Probably can, but let's see if there's anything else here. Ah, uh, puddles of darkness. So I'm, um, unless this game takes me roughly forever, I'm planning on streaming Ghost of Tsushima next. I'm just gonna move this a little bit away because it's, when it's closer to my mouth, it like sounds very annoying. So it's probably gonna be Ghost of Tsushima. Unless Elden Ring for some reason comes out. I feel like with Elden Ring, I'm not gonna be a full, I'm not gonna do a full Let's Play. Instead, I'm just kind of gonna, play at my own at my own leisure and stream at my own leisure too so I might like play a little extra of the game and then like just play it live when I want to There, sir. I'm internationally renowned writer Alan Wake. And I'm about to shoot you. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm definitely here to, like, do these streams and they're fun, but, like, I think with, uh, with, uh, with Elden Ring, it's going to be a little different. Like, I'm just going to enjoy it. And I'll stream it when I want to stream it, and then I'll enjoy it when I want to enjoy it. Just so there's no pressure. Because these games, like, I kind of enjoy doing full Let's Plays. But for that, I'm just, like, going to go for it. And, like, Ghost of Tsushima will probably come first. I may not be able to finish a full Let's Play before Elden Ring comes out. I may have had a shadow of a chance if I didn't uh, try Alan Wake. But Alan Wake is about six episodes... I'm on number three now. Yes, I just did uh, God of War. I finished it right before Alan Wake. Uh, amazing game. Truly an incredible experience. And I'm very glad that I finally got the chance to play it. And I'm glad that I got to share it too. Like, I mean, I went out a lot of emotions during the playthrough, which like, I mean, it's hard. That's hard to do genuinely. But like, uh, some of the, the scenes really hit you. There are like a couple that I was like, oh yeah, it made me cry a lot. This is just a wonderful game. Uh, main script. Wake up, Barry, and cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars oh, with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Oh, weird. As it's, like, fictional. And he's like, uh, Agent Nightingale. I feel like you're a little bit wrong. And let it go. I don't, I, like, I don't really agree. Because God of War was just that good and I'm glad that there's gonna be a second one like God of War Ragnarok I mean obviously like there's more in the God of War series than just God of War and God of War, uh, God of War Ragnarok but since they kind of rebooted it that's that's what I mean I'm sure you know what I mean I'm sure you do yeah I like I really genuinely enjoyed it I'm very excited for Ragnarok to come out I think it's going to be like Santa Monica Studios like obviously taking their time on it as they should and as they deserve it's I, again, I'm excited. I believe that it's going to be a good game.
Nice. Take all the things. All right, that's it. Oh, no! Come on. The dark presence is going to touch me in this chapter, and I'm not prepared. I'm unprepared for that. There's dark presence if you're planning on it. You're going to have to do some prep work, okay? Please, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Mr. Dark Presence, sir. Can you please just make sure that prep is involved in your touching experience? Oh, jeez. Mixed vegetables or mixed mythology. I don't mind either of those things. Mixed vegetables is very good. You can make a lovely stir fry, baby Yoda. Nice, I got four batteries now. Let's go. I have Wait. no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Yeah, I think that's the only plan that you have, Alan. Pump action shotgun. Let's just do it. Oh, yeah. Let's do the pump action. There's a lot of stuff over here. Oh no. Neat. They keep coming. I don't think there's anything here. I don't know where, I have no clue where to go. Ah, that's right, bitch. Oh, there's one right behind me. Great, awesome, I love this. Oh no, I might die. I might die. Yeah, I did. Oh, this is difficult. This game is hard. I'm telling you. Oh, I have to do all that again. Oh no, I'm just gonna run. I, your plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. I'm just gonna go toward where I need to. I didn't see anything worth exploring over there, so I'm just gonna go over here instead. Yeah, dark entities. I'm just gonna make a run for it because these guys seem like they uh, might respawn.
This is probably going to be a checkpoint right here. Yes, there it is. All right. The dark presence. It's up there. Oh boy. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. He knows. Is it going for Alice? Or him. I think it's going for you, Alan. Oh, now we're in a spooky cemetery. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a rough one. Am I going the right way? It doesn't seem so. There's a thing here. There's like a shed. Shack of some sort. Let's see if there's anything in it. Uh, maybe. Batteries. Batteries good. Batteries good. Batteries fine. Oh, thanks, baby. Yeah, it's like it's it's a part of gaming. Just got you used to it, really. Reach the Mirror Peak Lookout. Where is the Mirror Peak Lookout? Is it the here? Was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Ah! Yeah, this town is... This is very much like Yardim in that you're like, This town's finished. <laughs> okay, good. I gotta say, like, I tried to stream earlier because... Um, a lot of people that watch are from the UK, so, like, I try to be a little bit earlier, but, like, today I was just, like, I got a little sidetracked, so streamed a little bit later. But, yeah, I'm glad that that worked out with football season. Got any teams that you're really rooting for, Baby Yoda? Ah, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Yeah, so he's just the struggle. He's on the riding the struggle bus at the moment. Evil Within seems like a good series to cover. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And I know that that's, it's a good series. What I do is I just kind of choose like what games I most want to play at the moment. Like again, like I wanted to do Ghost of Tsushima, but then they announced Alan Wake Remastered would come out and I'm like, I missed out on playing Alan Wake the first time. So I'm just gonna play it now. And I did. So then Ghost of Tsushima's next and then following that Elden Ring. Oh, you like the Jets? Cool. I mean, uh, American football in the case of Baby Yoda. <laughs> Gray Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Gray Peak Gorge mining town was one of the per uh, permanent settlements of the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners face on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives in the, uh, over the years were buried there, a grim reminder to be careful of those who remained. Gray Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970 with the blast. I really do think that they were taking up like some eldritch, uh, eldritch like god creatures for sure. And that's why the guy even said, I thought it was kind of silly. I'm like, what? The graveyard shift causes cancer? I'm like, that's actually true when you're a miner. Uh, like a lot of the just things that you inhale in those mines can cause cancer, so that makes sense. But I believe that the Taken are, I don't know if it's the spirits or maybe the bodies of some of these miners that have been taken over by, like, touched by the dark spirit. That's my theory of now. We will see whether or not that's true, but it's my theory that I will share for posterity reasons, because why not? 
I like to share my theories. It's like I love I love a good mystery. I love a good mystery. And when I can like when I can't I can't always solve things when I can. Good feeling. Checkpoint reached. Alright. Oh fuck. It's gonna keep going after me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm so injured. I am injured. Cross the ghost town. This chapter is so long. I was hoping this one wouldn't be as long. I was wrong. How do I cross it? Where am I going? All right, I need to go toward the red. I'm going in the opposite way that I should. Oh, I narrowly avoided that. Yep, tinfoil hat. <laughs> I think they unearthed an evil creature inside of the mine. But this is cosmic horror, so it easily could be. In my defense. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woo woo! A trophy earned iron horse. I'm gonna look and see what that is. What does that mean? You made the train engine run out of steam. That's a rare that is a rare trophy that I just got. I'm like not trophy hunting in this, like I'm not intentionally not intentionally doing any trophies, but like when I can get one, it feels pretty damn good. Ooh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, I got some keys. I got some car keys. Yes, I would like to exit this place. Oh, that's not a car key. That is a house key. Flare gun. Yes, for sure. Ooh. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Yeah, it's taken. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Oh, he's losing it. But also, like, maybe he's, like, finding insight and knowledge that he should never have found. It's like the Lovecraftian nature of this story. Yeah, if it's cosmic horror, like, it's most certainly going to be, like, some alien creature. Hunting. Ooh, hunting rifle. Okay. Okay. I just kind of take the suggestion of the game. I don't know what's what, but, like... Oh. That's the dark presence! Sorry, Jay Sonic. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a night owl, but like I wasn't planning on streaming this long, but this chapter is running really long, so I usually stream about two hours a week. This one's probably going to be about th three if I'm lucky. <laughs> Another moon beast. It's the moon presence. Make contact. Where are you located, Jay Sonic? Like, re relative area. You don't have to tell me, like, exactly, but. Like, is it Europe? United States? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Yeah, I'll, I'll get on that. Friend. Not friend. Kidnapper, dude. Yes, good. Apply. Supply. Supplies. Supplies, motherfucker. Yeah, definitely some breathing. 
Oh, yeah, the time difference meaning, like, daylight savings. Okay, now I understand. Now I understand what you're talking about. Apologies to you. I did not understand. It took me a moment. But I appreciate you staying. You, I mean, of course, go to sleep whenever you, you want, but, like... Birds. I'd like to report a murder of crows. Oh, listen to it. I, this is this when I get touched by the presence. Oh, music's good here. Oh shoot! Let's go. Oh, the crows have eyes. Three, the crowing. The crows of eyes. And you must not look them in it. Those aren't birds, Nathaniel. Or those, that's not an eclipse, Nathaniel. Those are birds! Have you guys seen Shit's Creek? That is a Shit's Creek reference. When Moira Rose. I will, like, mention it every single stream. Oh my god! But yeah, Moira Rose stars in a. Netflix movie called like The Crows Have Eyes 3 The Crowning which honestly I wish was a real movie because I think that's hilarious I know it's so good <laughs> the wordplay the puns I live for them please sir another pun another pun may I have some more Oh no, how do I get out of here? Exit the silver mine. Ugh. I doubt there's any silver left in here. I need to find out where to go. I think I, I'm sure I came from here. Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is the exit. Kidnapper is leading me on a wild goose chase. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. What the fuck? Yeah, there's like, I somehow feel like Alice might be like a figment of Alan's imagination in a weird way. I could be dead wrong, but like, again, just a theory. Hypothesis, if you will. I didn't explore over there, but I'm a tad nervous, so I'd like to get through this chapter ASAP. Is there a manuscript page there? There sure is. Oh, I'm gonna need this, this, uh, flare. Alright, manuscript. It's a long chapter. Nightingale. In the Majestic. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the Gross. local hotel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. What? Like, I, I'd be so interested in knowing if Alan's actually, like, the villain of the story. Like, Nightingale's the actual hero, and we just don't know it. That would be so, just, so interesting. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh my god. Where is it? Come on. Come on. Oh god. I'm probably gonna die here.
Yeah, I'm gonna die. I knew it. I was like, yeah, this is not... I'm unprepared for this. I'm hoping that this is, like, the end of the chapter. I'm, like, I'm so... I'm just, like... I am checked out. <laughs> I am checked out. Oh, uh, it's before I found the supplies. Oh, this is when I was stuck over here. Not fun. I feel bad for these miners, to be honest. Yeah, that's where I came from. Oh, boy. Yeah, I done got fucked up. Alright, that's where I went. Let's just... Let's do I go? I forget where... I forget where my supplies were. I forget where I found them. So, I... Did not go over here. That's a totally different way. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Did I get touched? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I understand. Oh. <gasps> this is where she fell. I gotta get out of here. Oh, that's interesting. I never would have seen this if I didn't die. So, yeah, times would be way out of whack. I can understand that. Alice. Oh. Oh, maze your page down here. As you can see, yeah, I'm, I'm personally done. <laughs> so done. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident Thick. and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. So that's why I feel bad for them. Yeah, for real. Like, I know New Hampshire pretty well, because again, I'm from New England, but Alaska's so far. Yeah, it must be, must be challenging, for sure. Alright, cool. That was a neat detour. I don't have any flares. I know I picked some up on the last playthrough. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. I had flares last time. Ah! I just need to scream with frustration a little bit. Just a little bit of screaming. Uh, that's where I came from. And of course, I forget already where I got all the supplies. So that's where I need to go forward. There are no supplies here. My goal is just like, I just want to get through this so badly. Back starting to hurt. Standing this whole time. All right. Come on, Alan. Pick up the pace, Alan. Oh, there's where I found the flares. Yeah. All right, and this is where we get to the boss battle. Oh, awful. All right, let's see if I can do a little better this time, hopefully.
Oh, this is where the guy bursts out. Boom! That was not particularly well planned, however, it worked, so I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> Woo! Coffee time! Oh, which way? down further down oh no tunnels lead to cauldron lake no more batteries all right this is the only way oh there's so much here i'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on maybe the machinery could help me with that Now it's reminding me of mist again. Alright, so I think I just need to get through here. ladder there but there's also a little way here so wonder if there are any supplies no doesn't seem to be huh but there is a little thingy here. So maybe I can raise this up a bit. For some reason this reminds me of Blight Town. You know, obviously the best vacation spot in all of Lordran. Is this it? Is this everything? I have to go back down? Ah! Hmm. Yeah, it seems about right. Maybe I just a little maybe it's a little too high, but Oh well. I guess. <laughs> this is the longest chapter. So, so far so good. I think that some of it is a, a little bit tedious. And a little repetitive, if, if I must, if, if I can say, you know. Because it's just like, it kind of follows the formula of like, darkness, and then like light with some like mystery solving, and then like more darkness. It's like, eh, you kind of know what to expect by like chapter two. But so far so good, I think the best parts, at least the parts that I like the best, I gravitate toward the most, are the mystery aspects of Alan Wake. And I've been enjoying that a lot. I just think that this chapter, like, personally is a little long. But it's also because, like, my body's aching and I'm a little tired, so it's like it could just be me being a cranky person. 
But I like the chapters being about two hours. Ah, oh, thanks, Baby Yoda. I'm like, this is the thing. I'm extremely stubborn. If you get to know me, I'm like the literally the most stubborn person. If this doesn't end, like, let's say, like, by, like, three hours and, like, ten minutes, I'm going to just stop it. But I would like it to finish by then. Yeah, again, I'm being a little cranky. Yeah, cranky person. But I'm like also a little like stupid patient. And I'm also all kinds of stubborn, so. Yeah. Oh, wow, he has to, like, stop. Oh, wow, okay. So he does get, like, super fatigued. I think this is the lookout. I... Oh, no, there might be another boss battle. There is so many. Yeah, it might be, like, midnight already. Jeez. All right, manuscript page. All right, Tor hits Nurse Sinclair. Lightning flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without Aww. success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnair, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on oh my a God. tour, baby. That's so creepy. What the hell? Molnir. Oh, L3 focus. So that's the lookout, I guess. This is this is the lookout. So maybe I have to go down a bit? I'm gonna grab some white claws before bed. Oh, enjoy. I am a cheap champagne enjoyer myself. <laughs> That's what I usually indulge in during these streams. It's either like a tea or like a cheap champagne with like a little bit of Chambord. And again, if you mix like cheap champagne with Chambord, it tastes like a raspberry cake. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, that was super dark. That guy's like lost it. He thought that he was carrying Molnir. Mjolnir. Let's see. There we go. Checkpoint reached. Oh, great. Another cable car. Just great. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, too. Imagine the night that Alan's having. Oh my god, the worst. Oh, that's... no. That was a cool scene, at least. Yeah, so I'm giving myself like 10 more minutes. Darn throws! No, I'm out of batteries. I'm in the middle of this thing. Oh no. Oh noses. Like the world's slowest thing. The dark presence. The dark presence. Oh man. 
Oh, he'd be pretty badly injured by this point. Nice, that was well done. Well, that was a tiny bit unexpected. Ooh, supplies. Batteries, good. Oh, that was a waste. But it was funny. They, like, really want me to use the hunting rifle. This gun is way too slow. Oh, no! That's about how I feel. Uh, no, I stream every Sunday night, so one of the reasons why I'm, like, so determined to get this chapter done this time is because I only stream once a week. So it's like, I want to get certain things done. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna keep going forward. Them cans was indeed tempting. Ooh, music's good. Come on. I'm just gonna get going. Alright, checkpoint reached. Cool, I got my stuff. Cauldron Lake! Cauldron Lake, the eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was completely mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in, in many folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for that area residents. That's funny because... Okay, so the volcanic earthquakes... They said there were no casualties, but then they said when it erupted, they killed 32 miners? Am I getting this wrong? Or are they getting this wrong? All right, let's go. Oh, there's, oh no. This is gonna be the opposite of fun. Ugh. Pop, 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 bitch, pop. Come on, pop. I get a little too close to them, I think. Alright, that's it. What's harder, the game or maintaining posture? Oh, that's a good question because this is the thing with standing. Like, sometimes it just gets, like, so tiring to stand up. 
And then the game gets harder because, like, you're physically, like, being kind of tested. So that's where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> that's a that's actually a really useful question. Because, like, I, I physically can't sit down for long periods because I have a back injury. So it makes things, like, a lot harder. It makes life harder. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. This Mott guy seems weird. Oh, if you're going to, uh, to, to sleep, Baby Yoda, good night. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's like my last attempt at getting to the lookout. I feel like I'm close, who knows. But I feel like I'm as close as I'm gonna get. Oh boy. How do I get up there? Oh, there it is. Cross the mountain ruins. Kick. Nice, at least it's very convenient. I don't have to like solve puzzles. Oh, this seems like a creepy-ass fucking horror house. Let's go in! Is this it? Is this the lookout? Because, oh man. How decrepit and rotting is this? Come on. No, can't get through. What do I need to find to get through? Can I kick something? Oh, there it is. Of course, the fucking basement. Tom, Tom, C, N, and T, Z. Thomas Zane, I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 that's like Barbara. Barbara wrote these. You talk to me on TV, Tom. That's so creepy! I miss you, Tom. Tom, this person's obsessed. <laughs> yeah, I'm like working on it. Oh, this person's so creepy. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Yeah, this person's like lost it. This person's done. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. This is the way. This is the way. Checkpoint reached. They really want me to use that shotgun. It's very powerful, but it's just slow. I'd rather have something that I have to shoot a little more and it's like faster. Just a personal preference. Make sure my stuff's reloaded. Yes, flares, flares. Flares good. Flares very good. I hope that this is the lookout, because I swear to God. Oh, this looks rickety. Nice, this is a great scene. Just like cinematic wise. Might as well use it. Nice. Oh, come on. Nice. 
Nice. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. That was like the world's slowest battle. Oh, that was very difficult. That was extremely difficult. Lithium batteries. Nice. Oh, that was frustratingly hard. All right, let's go. This kidnapper is asking too much of me, I believe. <laughs> As if, like, there's a standard for, like, kidnappers' demands. Like, this is way beyond the standard kidnapping demands, and I don't like it. <gasps> ah, motherfucker. This is above average kidnapping demands. Come on, Alan, you got places to jump to. <gasps> no! This sucks. I'm already at 312. We're past midnight. Like at 6 a.m. in European time. Come on. No! No, this is bullshit at this point. I'm definitely getting cranky. I'm getting so fucking cranky right now. I'm getting cranky. I'm getting a little. A little bit cranked. I need wind down time, I think. <laughs> to like sit and read. <laughs> oh man, this is where I fall down. One, no, oh. my god. This is horse shit. Uh, the only thing about like the games from this time period is that the controls were janky. I know, Alan for sure needs to up his cardio game, and it makes me angry. <laughs> That's sorry. I'm going the wrong way? Oh, thank you, the Freeman. You know, the, I, I owe you my life. <gasps> I could have just gone around. Look at I could have gone around. Okay, thank you, the Freeman. You, yeah, you're extremely helpful. Thank you. Ah! This is getting all worked up for no reason. Okay. What is the point? Huh. Alright, reach the mirror peak lookout. Alright, that's the end. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. Yeah. I for sure, Alan. <laughs> I get that. Missing page. Okay. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Weird. So yeah, he's like, he's gone. I dreaded what I would find. This is super weird. Lots of twists and turns here. Yeah, I for sure need a Snickers. I just, honestly, I need rest. That's what I really need. Yes, hey, Jesus. I'm here. I'm coming. No. Get away. Sorry. Please, please. The boss didn't know who he met with. I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. She's probably brown. We just said we had her to make a play ball. Shit.
it. Someone was pulling her down. You don't know if it's the woman in black or you. Oh, neat. That's a great end of this chapter. <sighs> I needed that. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, end of episode three. I'm so relieved. Oh, man. That's it. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm just going to get through this cutscene and then. Then that's it. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the Dark Presence before it attacked me. The truth. Woo, thank you, Miles. Shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. No, this is fucked up. You can hear her fucked up voice. Oh, that's the doctor in the clinic. I had to give you a sedative. Don't, Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. What? Yeah. Right now it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No. Death! You lie. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. <sighs> Weird, because like this all might be a figment of like his like own delusions that he's created in his mind. And you don't know what's real in this. Oh, it's good. No, it's good no, storytelling. He's back in the cabin. In me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. All right. So, yes, I'll end it here. Thank you, Miles. Yeah, as long as everything goes well, um, most Sundays I stream. If I don't, I will update my community tab. Or if you happen to follow me on Twitter, I update Twitter as well. Um... Both of those I pretty much keep up to date. Uh, unfortunately, I never. Oh shit! Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? No. Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay. Before I go further, I will pause it. All right, so that'll be everything. Thank you guys for joining, especially this late or this early if you're in a different part of the world. I hope you have a great week ahead of you. Night. Bye-bye.